Dun dun dun! The one you've been waiting for. You've been seeing it online, you've heard the reviews, you've seen it, but you want to know what the trusted teacher has to say? The Bearded Fox, four new cents coming at you with my thoughts, Dan C, the trusted teacher for all things beard related. If you want to learn more about beards and overall health of your mind and body, not really all that, mainly just beards, <laughs> please hit subscribe, I invite you guys. And you'll hear the thoughts of my beautiful wife, Sam C. We do have all four new scents of the Bearded Fox that I've been trying out for about three weeks now. And I'm going to give you guys the rundown for what they smell like, what they feel like, and anything else that you guys have questions on. If I don't cover it, leave a comment. You know I get back to 100% of the comments always. So please, guys, stay tuned and check out this review. company, The Bearded Fox. I'm going to be real short on this one, guys. We're going to talk a lot about the company with my segment with Sam and give you all of our thoughts here. Overall, this company is out of Iowa. They have something special going on. They've got the humor. They've got that nice touch that you know they're going to make it. They're going to be successful. Their scents are very long lasting. They are pretty strong. They're extremely complex, always original. They have it, guys. There's something that you can't measure, you can't put your finger on it, you can't put any kind of scale. They just have that it factor, and they're special. A lot going on with this company, the Bearded Fox. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating based on the market average of what we see with comparable companies. I'm gonna give the Bearded Fox a two dollar sign price rating. This is one of, I have a couple companies where I'm always like, man, I don't understand how they are not charging more. They could get away with charging so much more for their products, and it always really surprises me. Beard Octane is one of those, Luxurious Bastard is one of those. The Bearded Fox always surprises me when I go and look at the price. The price of a one ounce bottle of beard oil is $13. That is below the market average. The price of a hefty, two ounce balm, it always feels like there's more than two ounces there, is $17. When you combine them together, $30 for a two ounce balm, one ounce oil combo, straight up market average for a far superior product than the market average. You guys are getting a steal with this price. Amazing company, not even an affiliate of mine or anything, just a super, super fair price for what you're getting there. Definitely a $2 sign price rating. Ladies, gentlemen out there, friends, family, I've brought in the expert, the sniffer herself. <laughs> Don't <laughs> Sam give C. me that nickname. <laughs> the, the sniffer of all sniffers. The sniffles and sniffers. No. Welcome, Sam. <laughs> Today we are going to be covering the new four scents from a company we've covered before, and that is the Bearded Fox. Mm -hmm. The Bearded Fox. So I would go out on a limb and say one of, if not your favorite, logoed beard companies yes with this fox on here and the colors and everything yeah i really like it. she loves him it has those uh what is it the geometric shapes is that yeah. how it's described on yeah. there so super cool classy i love this hat with the yellow it's a little bit different mm -hmm. um, i rock this one all the time there so the bearded fox we got four different scents we got a <laughs> breakdown from the owner on what they they believe it smells like then we'll give our pitch on it so we're gonna go from i like them all straight up off the bat <laughs> little spoiler alert i really like them all this company has long lasting complex scents but i'm gonna go from of the new ones uh working from not my least favorite, but the least of these to my favorite of these ones. Okay. But again, if you had a row of probably 50 companies right now, and I was going, these would be near the top, even the ones that I'm starting with. So let me just put that out there. I like them all. <laughs> so the first one is called the One-Eyed Woodsman, or One-Eyed Woodsmith. Sorry, One-Eyed okay. Woodsmith. I'll let you go there, and I'll describe it as you go through and smell it here. Okay. So the One-Eyed Woodsmith is a classic woodsy scent but not standing in the forest. It smells of freshly cut wood, mm -hmm. like being in an old high school wood shop class. That's where the name get, that's where the scent gets its name. And his high school wood shop teacher had one eye. 
Why did he have one eye? They were too scared to ask. They never asked. <laughs> so it is the one-eyed woodsmith. There is something about it that reminds you like of an old high school. Like to me, it smells like the gym, like the gym floor. Okay. So I don't know if it's maybe like the wax that like high schools use. See, yeah, I don't fully get that out of this description. And I thought that if I wore it in beard, it would be different. And it wasn't that different. I get like a cologne sweet woodsy. Yeah, it all, I can see that too. Because when I first smelled it, I was like, oh, that does smell like like a wood cologne. Yeah. And then when you read the description, I was like, I can set <laughs> the floor. Yeah, because when I put it in the first time, I'm like, Sam, hey, smell this in my beard. I, I get like a cologne woodsy. And she's like, yeah. But then, yeah, you read the description yeah. and you're like, shoot, I can see that too. It is fresh cut wood though. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's not, not pine. It's not. It's it's more woods. so yeah. It's not woodsy. It's wood. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's really nice. Um, I like wood scents. I really like wood scents on occasion. They're not something that I yeah. would wear every day. Um, some of these other ones I could wear every day. So that's why this one is fourth there. So I like that one because it's different. Yeah. I've never smelt a wood and, scent like that. And of course the logo here. The fox has the eye patch on. This fox is just the cutest <laughs> it's thing. It's so awesome, and we love foxes. Yeah. And we've talked to this is our second video for them, so we don't want to repeat too much. But did we super, say that last time? Prob. We talked about the fox in our backyard at our old house, okay. and then at, up Which at. Which I saw. Dan did not. I did. She likes to make things up in her mind, and then I pointed out a fox up north that was trying to hunt some sheep. And did you that? almost say oops? Yeah, I almost, yeah, Maddox calls them oops, and I'm like, that's a little bit weird. They wouldn't get it, so sheep, yes. All right, next one again, I'll let you do that. This one okay. is called uh, Scumbag Boogie. Scumbag Boogie. Interesting. And this one is a classic barber shop, but in reverse. It's not the smell of walking into the barber shop, it's the smell of walking out. I love that's that idea. So interesting. Yeah, I love the idea. After the cut. After the powdery neck duster, after the fresh warm shaving cream uh, cleanup, and you get that slick in your hair, and it is from uh, the classic greaser haircut. So when you're thinking of a greaser there. So what do you got? I get the barbershop. What is that other? So this is what I have here, right? And they, I love with these um, scents, he puts the, the scent descriptions right below the name. It's it's okay. beautiful labels. Yeah. I mean, you have the name there and what it is below That's it. Nice. So for the one-eyed woodsmith to go back, he has silver birch, sandalwood, cedar, and pine, and they all just kind of blend beautifully in there. I'm not a huge fan of pine, and I usually really hate birch, and Sam's allergic to it, so yeah. that's a good thing. We're back. I got lazy, battery said two bars on there, and I was like, oh, we should be good, and it wasn't. So, new battery, we're back in it. Back to the scumbag boogie. Um, two camps on barbershops. Mm -hmm. You have the talc powder camp, and then you have the bay rum camp. So some people believe that the barbershop scents should smell straight up like baby powder. Yes. And some people believe that it should be more that barberside, cleaning, fresh, more so than just powder type smell. What I don't get, I don't understand how anything in a barbershop smells like bay rum. Like, when I think of bay rum, it's like Caribbean, I like know. Jamaica. What? I that know. makes no sense to me. I know, and that's, that's part of the beard world, right? We have so many things where it's this or this. So bay rum, if you think of like drinking a tropical bay drink, yeah, like rum, coconut, pineapple. yes, yeah. But then there's the, the other side that's like a barber shop, that's like barber side. So I, it's, I've smelled both. It's, there's a lot of things, right? Some people are like... I'm saying right now, uh, let's stop this madness. All right, we're on a mission. Cut out the Bay Rum yes. barber shop. All right, we're on a mission. We're on a lot of things. So for me, I want a mission of having tiers of beard supplies, right? You'll get a balm that is rock hard, and they'll call it a balm. You'll get a balm that is no butters in it, and it's like... Vaseline, and they're all called uh -huh. balms. I want butter, balm, wax, and you just determine it by level of wax in there. Okay. We're, we're, we're setting standards here, you guys. We are we're changing things. We're changing things. <laughs> Revolution time. But all right, so this one to me, though, is the perfect balance of both worlds. I get the talcum powder, and I get that actual bay rum in there, that smell. I really like this. I don't get bay rum whatsoever. Yeah. And 
the crazy thing with this is I just, within the last like three weeks or so, maybe four weeks, I did a top five barbershop scent video. And I received this, I think literally two days after the video dropped. And they were like, no, you should have waited. And for me, this one would fit in in the top three. One, two, or three, I can't say where though, because before my mm -hmm. top three were straight talcum powder scents and they all kind of smell alike. Mm -hmm. One and two were super unique with no talcum powder though. So this one is a barbershop with that uniqueness, but yeah. also that classic barbershop smell. I feel smell. like when you do a barbershop, you have to be unique. Because yes, yes. you're just going to smell the same. Because there's Put nothing. a little bit extra yeah. something in there. Because it's there's nothing that usually overpowers that talcum powder. Usually it's just yeah. that. They did it here, and it's nice. It's clean. It is 100% an everyday scent. Mm -hmm. one, one last smell here. Do you get any, like, spice in there? Yeah, it I do does get, get spice a too. Spicy. Maybe I, like maybe there's ginger. Yeah, it could it be. It does smell a little ginger. -like. A little bit, and I get that from the, I get that in beard as well. That spice comes mm. out. But yeah, and my favorite thing about this, and Sam talked about it when I got the scent. She's talked about it when I've worn it. Is that description of not walking into the barber shop, yeah. but walking out. That's Everybody. So different. Yeah, everybody describes barbershop. That smell you get when yeah. you walk into the barbershop. And that's cool. I, I like that. But they flipped it and had the ability to say, this is what's normal. The hardest thing is to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell everybody with making a channel or a company, be different. And they said, let's give you that smell walking out. Yeah. I'm like, dang. That, that, special. Special. Mic drop. Yes, right. Seriously, mic drop. All right, next one here is halfway to coming. <laughs> halfway to coming. And let me explain the name here. So Halfway to Coming originates from their cycling and drinking adventures. Woo. The scent profile here is a Moscow Mule and a Minty Mojito. So drinks, of course, and I enjoy both of those. Sam does not. Uh, they're too expensive for me to usually get, but I enjoy <laughs> they're them. They're so cheap. <laughs> they're like <laughs> 8 to 12 bucks. Uh, no and, thank okay, you. Okay, some of you are probably laughing because your drinks are probably like $20. Yeah, in right, in New, New York. York and stuff, but not for me. So they would go on these drinking, cycling tours and adventures, and they would go on these bike trails, and they would go to Cumming, Iowa. That's the actual name of the city. It's spelled like this and everything. So that name makes complete so sense. So they're, they're going on drinking bike tours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, adventures. They would just get some drinks, bike. Oh, it's not like one of those like, bikes no, where you're I've, all just drinking no, on like, the giant my, bikes? My brain threw in tour when it didn't belong there. <laughs> so I don't know if I was thinking of like Tour de France, bike tour de France. Oh my God. No, it was just biking adventures. So they'd go and drink there. So yeah, it is 100% Moscow Mule and Minty Mojitos. I, okay, I don't like ah. those drinks. I like the smell of them. Mm -hmm. I get ginger. Yes. I get mint. And you know when you have drinks that have like mm -hmm. granulated sugar inside yes. of them? I can smell the sugar. So that's crazy. So two things for me. One, I was just describing this to my buddies, Tim, Joel, and Doug, and I said, it's minty, it's fresh, and it has spice in there. And that was all I could really describe it. It's the Amber, or not Amber, Jim, the other girl, Amber. sorry. Shoot, get out of my brain, Amber. Gosh, it is the ginger in there, and it is 100% ginger. I am learning to love ginger more and more. Mm -hmm. She just got in a lip smacker thing a couple weeks ago is that what it's called it's not a lip smacker i don't know what the lip balm <laughs> <laughs> lip balm okay and it was ginger and i was like that's really nice mm -hmm. i really liked it that's what this is here so yeah it's mint and you definitely get that ginger i think mm -hmm. that's like the biggest note other than the mint yeah definitely and i can smell the carbonation like i 100 <laughs> percent smell like because you know if you ever get a mojito or Moscow mule it has, I think, like Sprite in there yeah. or something. And it gives you a little carbonation. That's what I smell in here. It's super nice and it's strong. It our, is very strong. Our strengths build up. And I'm not always a person that likes strong scents. Um, the one-eyed woodsmith lasted me about six hours in beard and then was gone. And usually I prefer that. We went to the zoo. It was really nice outside. And then it was gone. The scumbag boogie lasts me about eight hours. The halfway to coming lasts me about 10 hours, 10 hours strong. And then that leads us into our last one, which is my favorite. And this was easily, easily, and I'm probably underestimating this, a 12 hour scent. This lasted all day. I took a night shower uh, when I wore this the first time and it was still there. Return of the Mac, 12 hour scent. So the last one here, go ahead, Sam. Okay. Return of the Mac. And first, this one is 
becoming pretty famous on the internet. Uh, they've been building it up, and this is an oud scent, an oud scent. I so, so hard. I, that one is, it always is, no matter oh if I gosh. take it on or off, the top's hard to get on that one. So it's an oud scent, and we, we've covered oud a ton of times on this channel. It's the tree that rots, and you get the, the smell of this mm. fermented, beautiful oud. And we have out there Liquid Gold, Holy Grail, the Legendary Bastard, and all these companies taking their, their shot at oud. This one is oud three ways, lavender and amber. Amber. She always sneaks her way in here. Amber. <laughs> so, yes. Um, and there is a couple on here, which is pretty funny, that watches and gets in the live stream, Asher and Amber. And they split <laughs> accounts. It was one account before, Asher and Amber. Now they have two different accounts. And I was like, Asher, I miss having uh, Amber's name on your account. And then Amber was in the live stream. And she was like, oh, thanks, Dan. And then someone came in and was like... Everyone's like, Amber! Yeah. And then someone came in and was like, Sam doesn't miss it. <laughs> it was uh, Caleb. We were cracking up. I was like, no, Sam does not miss Amber. But she doesn't know Amber personally. No. <laughs> just me not that amber though okay. different amber different okay. amber all right back to the story stop trying to get me on tangents you guys ood three ways lavender and amber and this is what he says for return of the mac mm -hmm. they've taken that masculine ood scent combined with the softer amber and lavender and this name is for no reason whatsoever other than it was an awesome song that the owner used to love to play when he dj'd <laughs> and so this was something that you want to wear when you're heading out for the night and for me, I would agree. I would describe mm -hmm. this as a masculine, warm, not overpowering cologne, but definitely a cologne scent. For me, it's like a bedtime cologne. Okay. It's like relaxing? Yeah. Okay. Like relaxing, All right. about to go to bed. See, I don't know why you would be wearing a cologne in bed. Yeah. But it's the lavender. Whenever I smell lavender... I just think of like nighttime. See, and, and we've talked about this. She gets more lavender out of this than I do. I don't get a ton of lavender out of it. To me, they all kind of meld into, is that a word? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make it a word. They all meld into their own creation. I think that's what makes a cologne. Yeah. And I don't, I don't get a ton of lavender out of that. And I like lavender and I love this scent. So maybe get, it's in there subconsciously. I get the cologne. -ness. Okay. I get the oud. I get amp or lavender. Lavender. And then I get a little spiciness from okay. the amber. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And that, that oud, I don't know if there's any more manly scent out there that's like enjoyable right you could put in like gunpowder and like oh. stuff like that i'm sure that'll be manly but it like mm -hmm. almost is like the essence like a natural manly smell to me yeah it really I is agree. and i love it is it my favorite oud scent i love them all genuinely it's not like a political answer <laughs> i love them for what they are uh we love liquid gold in this house. Sam likes Holy Grail. I really like Holy Grail. Um, the Legendary Bastard's kind of a mix of those two. And then this one is Return of the Mac is its own thing. Have you heard Return of the Mac is a song? Yeah. Have yeah. you ever heard that? I have. I'm not going to sing it because you guys make fun of me every time I sing. Uh, but yeah, Return of the Mac. I'll play it. I'll play it afterwards. Can't get copyrighted because... And that's the other reason I can't sing is I'm so like accurate with my chord levels that YouTube <laughs> picks me up for a copyright yeah. infringement. What did Maddox tell you in the car today? Oh yeah. You don't like this song. No, Dad. no, no, no. He said, Dad, this song a little bit bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing and he was like, it was just a little bit bad, Dad. So thanks, Maddox. I thought it was a little bit good. Um, but yeah, man, this company, you guys, we said it on the first video and it's only reinforced it. They have it. They they have this X factor. You know that there's something special from the way they make mm -hmm. their, their labels, their logo, the complexity of the scents, the long-lasting scents. And Sam really likes the like humor that they approach yeah, it with. I just I feel like if the owner is somebody we could like hang out yeah. with just by the way that he described A hundred percent. And this isn't even an owner that I super interact with. Some owners I talk to on a daily basis, have great conversations. Uh, this owner I, I talk to every once in a while. I really like talking to him. But you just, yeah, it just seems like he would come over and play just Jenga. Super cool. and, yeah. Uh, Jenga. And, yeah, absolutely. I would have a mojito. Sam would have a Capri Sun. <laughs> and it would just be a good time, a good time. So, yeah, they there's just something special there. And yeah, this is I a agree. super, like, they're a newer company. Our okay. first review that we did for them, that was their first sense. That was their first run. Oh, wow. So they haven't even been yeah. around for that long. 
but they're like that rookie that comes into the NBA and just plays like a veteran. Like they, they play like they've been there before. They're super smart. Love it. Absolutely love it. If you guys like long lasting complex scents that you haven't smelled before, if you didn't think it was possible to take a twist on a barber shop, they did it. Mm -hmm. If you didn't think it was possible to have a new angle on Oud, they did it. Even Woodsy, right? Have you yeah. ever smelled a Woodsy like no. this? Truly not. And definitely, I've never had a mojito smell like this one. Um, there's some out there, but everything they do just has yeah. that little bit of extra in there yeah. in such a good way. So awesome, awesome. The Bearded Fox, super cute, super great. Super cute. Super cute. <laughs> I just looked at the logo and I looked and that's all you think about. Like there's super something cute. about that like fluffy tail that's just I like, know. oh, just so cute. <laughs> so cute. Well, all right, Sam. Thank you. You're welcome. Feel in beard. I'm going to make this one short again. I have another review out for this company and you guys have heard it, so I don't want to beat a dead horse there, but special as always. Everything they do is above average, superior, great. Same for feel and beard. Some classic carrier oils. They use essential oils and fragrance oils for their scents. If you're going to get a company that has these really long lasting scents and the ridiculously complex scents, it almost always has to be achieved with fragrance oils. Now, if you're worried about fragrance oils, don't be. I have a video out there comparing fragrance oils to essential oils. And to tell you the truth, more humans have negative impacts from essential oils than they do fragrance oils. So there's truly no worries with that at all. They have a medium consistency balm, a medium thickness oil, really quality. You're going to style great. You're going to be smelling fresh and you're just going to be feeling good with your day. So feeling beard, psh, forget about it. Awesome. Rebuy. Would I look to acquire any of these products once I've used them up? Would I look to try new things from this company? And most importantly, would I recommend them to you guys? Holy cannoli, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This company is original. They're long lasting, they're complex, their scents evolve throughout the day. So many things, if I were to give you guys a wish list, what do you want in a new company? Long lasting, check. Complex, check. Healthy, checks. Funny, original, awesome, involved owner and customer service, check. They cross off all those boxes and then some, guys. Return of the Mac is amazing. Halfway to Coming is going to be a regular for me. They flip the script on a barber shop with the scumbag boogie and they have a super original woodsy scent, guys. They are doing everything the right way. They said they came out with their first wave of having some unique scents that weren't really out there in profiles. So they wanted to come back and do some of the traditional ones with a twist. Barbershop with a twist. Woodsy with a twist. Oud with a twist. And guess what, guys? You've accomplished that. So do I recommend them to you? Yes. Ask any beardsman that tried them and see what the answer is. You don't have to take it from me. As always, guys, I paint my picture. I give my experience, but I feel confident that I get backed up from so many of you guys that have had the same experiences out there. Give it a shot. I've never heard anything negative about this company. So question to leave you guys with. We kind of touched on this idea with Sam. Barbershop is one of those divided things out there. Is a barbershop a heavy talc powder, talcum scent, or is it this bay rum? Why is it a bay rum? And you can go from both ways. A lot of us like clarity. We want to have a set barbershop so you know what to expect. With me, it's that whole debate of what is a balm? What is a butter? What is uh, the consistency of these things? What is the wax ratio? I like to have set defined things. As a coach and as a teacher, we like to be definite. We like to have structure and routine. And it drives me crazy in the beard world. If I'm ordering a whipped product, is it a butter? Is it a whipped balm? What am I getting? So my question is, is there something in the beard game that you wish was more consistent and more clear cut? We got the barbershop idea. I know a lot of you would agree with me there. I know a ton of you agree with me with the balm, butter, wax debate of how we should call it, how we should measure it. Is there any other gray areas where you're like, I order this and I don't know what I'm going to get because of the company? I think that we got to get more structured and have some more uh, kind of agreement between these companies so we can get some idea of what we're ordering before we do. Otherwise, you're left to just simply rely on reviews and what you read, and that's my job. 
but I still would even love to have something a little bit more clear cut. So there's nothing off the top of my head right now that I can think of that is really in that gray area, but I know it's out there. I know I've talked about it. I've, I know you guys have talked about it. So let me know in a comment. Is there something in the beard game that you wish was more clear cut? I think barbershop sense is one we gotta, we gotta figure out here. And I think another one is the labeling of products, giving it a name. And I do think there's some value in companies having their leeway, but I do think the customers suffer sometimes and I hear about it. Hey Dan, I ordered this, I thought I was gonna get this thing and it wasn't. They had said a different name and I didn't know what to expect. I like it, but I didn't know what to expect. So for me, expectations are big when consumers are putting their hard money and everything that they have into these purchases. So thank you guys. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say here. I think you're gonna come up with some things where I'm gonna say, ah, yeah, good call, good call. And then we'll talk about it, we'll debate it, we'll discuss it, and we'll keep it positive as always. So thank you guys, the Bearded Fox. Stay bearded and stay positive.